It's time for another Tuesday Tech Tips from ActiveGator.com. This Tuesday, we will show you how to manage your finances with a free application called Money Manager EX. Money Manager EX is free and open source personal finance software, available for a variety of platforms, including Linux, Microsoft Windows, and Mac OS X. The focus of Money Manager EX is on ease of use, while allowing the user to get a lot of information at a glance, with as much detail as desired. Money Manager EX can be used to maintain records for checking, credit card, saving, and stock investment accounts, forecast cash flow, remind you when bills are due, budget, and provide reports, graphs, and charts. It also supports encryption and importation from many common personal finance packages and can be used as a portable application run from a USB thumb drive, for example. To get started, open your web browser and browse to the Money Manager EX website www.codelane.com slash MMEX. Once there, click on MMEX download and look for the version for your computer. For this tip, we will focus on the version for Microsoft Windows XP, Vista or 7. If you are an advanced user, you may download the zip version, but most people will find an installer to be the easiest way to get started. If you do not know which one to choose, download the 32-bit installer instead of the 64-bit installer. Once you have Money Manager EX installed and running, the first thing you will need to do is create a database. When the Money Manager EX start page appears, click on the Create a New Database button. Choose a location and a name for your database, and click Save. Picture this. The database will be created and verified, and then the new database wizard will start. Click the Next button. On the next screen of the wizard, click the Set Currency button. For this example, we will use the US dollar. Click on US dollar, and click the Select button. If you wish to specify a username, type 1 into the username field. When you are finished, click the Finish button. Now, the Add Account wizard will start. Click the Next button. Enter the name of an account you would like to add, and click the Next button. Choose the type of account, and click the Finish button. Now you can enter all of the details of the account you have just added. In the new account window, fill in all of the details desired, and when you are finished, click the OK button. Now you are ready to use Money Manager EX. To begin, click on the name of the account you created. To add a transaction, click the new button. Let's add a deposit. In this case, we will add a paycheck. Change the transaction type to deposit. Then click on select pay. Under filter pays, type the name of the source of the income and click the add button. Confirm the name in the pop-up dialog, and click the OK button. Once back at Organized Pays, click the Select button. Enter the paycheck number, if you wish. Change the date, if needed. Then click on the Select Category button. In the Organized Categories window, 
you will see a nice assortment of built-in categories. For this example, scroll down to the income category, click on salary, and click the select button. Now enter the amount of the deposit, add any notes you wish, and click the OK button. Now let's add a withdrawal. For this example, let's say that you have written a check to pay for automobile insurance. Once more, click the new button to add a transaction. Leave the transaction type set to withdrawal, then click on select pay. Again, under filter pay, type the name of the automobile insurance company and click the add button. Confirm the name in the pop-up dialog, and click the OK button. Once back at organized pays, click the select button. Again, enter the check number, change the date if needed, then click on the select category button. In the organized categories window, scroll down to the insurance category, click on auto, and click the select button. Now enter the amount of the deposit, add any notes you wish, and click the OK button. Back in the account view, you will see a list of all transactions, with descriptions of each, and the account balance. The question mark icon indicates that the transaction has not yet been reconciled. When a transaction has been reconciled, simply right click on the transaction, then choose mark as reconciled. To mark a transaction for follow up, right click the transaction, and choose mark for follow up. To see a report, just click on one on the title of the desired one on the left, and it will be displayed. You can always get back to the account overview by clicking on the name of your account on the left. Click on Help and Help again to view the included documentation and visit the Money Manager EX website for much more information. There are a staggering number of other features worth exploring that are outside the scope of this introduction. As with any sensitive information it is strongly advised to keep your database on a hard drive that you control, in a computer that you control, preferably with some kind of encryption. It is also very important to back up any important data, including the use of some kind of secure off-site backup, if at all possible. This has been another Tuesday's Tech Tips from Active Datacom. Thank you for watching, and if you ever need help with your computer, network, website, or any IT issues, just call, click, or come by. Call us at 662-620-7996, visit us online at www.callactive.com, or stop by at 1137 West Main Street, in Tupelo, Mississippi.